We will first start by logging in as an admin user. We will click on System Configuration and click SAML button. We will now enable SAML and fill in the SAML settings. These SAML settings are provided by your identity provider, so please contact them for the information for these fields. We will save these changes and now click back on the SAML button. Below, there will be an download SAML configuration XML button. We will click this button in order to download the information to upload to our IDP. We will now log out and log in as a security manager. Please note now that SAML is enabled, we have the sign in using identity provider. We will now create a user, a SAML user. We will change the type to SAML and create this SAML user. Please make sure this user exists on the identity provider and the username attribute matches up with the SAML configuration page. We will now log out. We will upload our SAML configuration XML to a public facing website called SAML test ID. You can use this website to test your SAML connection. We will upload the recently downloaded SAML configuration XML and click upload. Now that this file is uploaded, we will go back to our tenable SE instance and log in as a SAML user. We will click the sign in using identity provider. Log in. Click the accept button. And we are now logged into our tenable SC instance via SAML.